Hey guys, welcome. So, I'm standing here at a live event to launch our exciting new product, PCC, Premium Color Change Film. It's a color change with flight technology. Really excited about the launch, but actually this is not the subject of today's video. Today's video is to answer the question that we often get during trainings. What tools are you using for wrapping? What kind of knife? What is a useful tool, a useless one? So we will answer this question by unfolding my wrap belt and my tool bag. So guys, everything that I have is here. That fit in this very small bag. Actually, this was my school bag when I was in high school. Funny, right? So, we will open it, see what's inside. Like every wrapper, I like I have the basic tools. The basic tools, meaning glove, knife, squeegees, heat gun. I have a bit more than that, so we will walk through it. So first one, most important one, of course, the heat gun. We need a heat gun for working, at least a source of heat. I prefer the heat gun and I want it light and cheap if possible, because, well, it falls on the ground quite sometimes. I kill my share of heat gun. So this one doesn't risk anything. Next one coming out of the bag, the wrap belt. Yes, I do use a wrap belt. I carry a lot of tools. I like to have them at all times with me. At least that is the theory. I have this terrible habit of putting my tools pretty much everywhere in my pocket or losing them. But I'm trying to force myself to use it. Well, actually, if I look in my back pocket, yeah, see, bad habits. Following is an uh, interesting one. I'm not supposed to show you this one because of uh, the brand inside, but uh, I use it, let's face it, every wrapper use it to not cut on the car. Do not cut on the car unless you are trained to do so. This is really, really useful. For the sake of the video, let's put that back in the bag. Finally, last one coming out of the bag, a thermometer. Yes, it is a IR thermometer to keep temperature of vinyl when I'm post heating. Well, as you can see, battery is kind of low. I didn't use it for quite a time as well. Um, you need to use it. I need to change the battery. So, the wrap belt, what's inside of it? We will see right now. First thing, you can see it on the top, a couple of magnets. Always handy to position the film on top of the car. You can position it, reposition as much as you want. It is a useful tool, pretty much needed at all time. Next, I have a couple of knives. I have two different ones. One is metallic, pretty light. One is plastic, a bit heavier. This is all on one. I don't know the brand of this one. I'm pretty much using, to be truly honest, the first one that come to my hand. But I have a slight preference for the plastic one as it allow me to never damage the car surface. Next, really handy one and a must have, is a glove. Glove, you must have one for wrapping. It is really important to protect you from cutting yourself, first use. Second, to have a good sliding on top of the material because it smoothens the touch. We have some grease on your finger. And final use, when we post heat, it protects our finger from the heat. When you use heat and you have 100 degrees on top of the film, that is a bit too much. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't have Teflon fingers. I burn myself. So the glove, must have. Next, a couple markers and actually even a pen. This is pretty handy, especially for demonstration. I'm a trainer, of course, but this comes in handy when you're working as well. How? When it's time to mark the vinyl to cut away extras, for example, you mark it, you can lift it in the air, cut the vinyl in the air away from the car, avoiding though to damage the paint. Then some tools you may be familiar with the dentist tools. I have a variety of them, metal, plastic, different colors, different shape. To be fair, I'm not using all of them. I pretty much grab the first one that comes to my hand. What is the main use of it? It's to reach places where I'm missing, you know, the tiny fingers on top of the fingers. I wish I had them, but I don't. So this place is where my finger cannot fit. It is really handy to hold the material as well when you are heating to avoid burning yourself or this one to put the material under the joints. Now we have, uh, yes, a box. This box is a blade breaker. I'm using it to cut my blade when I'm working because we need to cut the blade to keep sharpness. 
and I see a lot of people cutting their blade on the floor. When it's time to pick up the scraps, we usually damage our hands. It happened to me multiple times. So I always carry this box here on the top. I can break my, uh, break my blade inside of it. And well, that's doing the job. You can as well have a simple box on the side. It's working perfectly. Then, ah, yeah, this is a funny one. So this is called a gecko patch. It's not the most useful tool of all time, but it comes in use sometimes. What is this? It is made for when the car is made of plastic or when you stick a vinyl on top of a window. I'm pretty sure we've all gone mad with the magnet not working on a surface, making us use tape, which is time consuming. How is this working? It's made of silicone. You just clean it with water and you stick it on the surface like this. It sticks on pretty much every surface except ABS plastic and you stick magnet on top of it, holding your vinyl. Ah, this one. Let me read the name. It's called a bodyguard. Okay, bodyguard. What is the use of this product? The main purpose of it is to cut the liner behind the film so you can make the inch technique before even starting the wrap. But it's not what I use it for. I use it for removing extra pieces on top of the car, for example, on top of the window, because the blade is not going above the tool, making it no risk to damage the car. Pretty handy, I like it. Of course, of course, I didn't forget about the most important tool of our profession, squeegees. I have here two of them with felt on. Wait, two? No, no, I have more of them. So we said two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no, not this one. So, all comes in different shape, different color, different thickness, different uh, softness. So this one is pretty soft with a sharp angle. This one is pretty hard with a round angle. So they have many different use. Why do I have so many squeegees? Well, actually, if you ask a wrapper, what is the perfect squeegee? You will have a bunch of different answers depending on the wrapper. Find the one that you like the most and use it, as simple as that. So guys, that's it. All I have, all the tools that I own are here on this table. Even when I'm working in a workshop, I don't have much more to work with because those are the useful ones in my opinion. When I travel, I like to travel light. So everything, as you saw, fit in a small school bag. That's convenient. Now I know that when you work in a workshop, you can have a lot more tools than this. And actually, now that I think about it, I think Dominic in his garage has a lot to show you. Hey everyone, uh, I'm sitting here surrounded by my tools which I use for the workshops and for the wrapping. And this is one of my favorite tools which I use every morning before the work, which is black coffee. When I travel, the only thing I take with me is this tool pocket. And I will show you a few things inside. First off, 30 degrees knife. Then stick from Yellow Tools, very useful tool for um, going under the rubbers and stuff like that. Then one of my favorite tools, uh, most of the time, blade breaker, very useful tool, so nothing falls on the floor. Um, of course, squeegees, I have two of them. So the green one, which is the soft one, which I use most of the times and the orange one, which is very useful for the deep channels and the flat surfaces. Of course, mater. Blade, 30 degrees for my knife. Pen, which is very useful too. And that squeegee, very angled squeegee, triangle which is also very useful for uh, going under the rubbers most of the time and for cleaning uh, in very uh, tight areas. Uh, what else? Well, glove, of course. This one is pretty used, but I really like it still. Still does the job for me. Um, and then for uh, paint protection films, I have three squidges here, uh, which is uh, the yellow one, which is the soft one for bulky elements. Uh, then the pink one for flat surfaces. This is the more stiffy one. 
but it slides very well also on every of the PPF uh, films I use and tested. And then for the very angled curves, uh, customized uh, squeegee made of, uh, I don't know, but very, very good tool in my opinion. Very important are these magnets. Um, so uh, these tools are the tools I'm taking always with me uh, for, the, for the training days uh, abroad. And I will show you right now some of the tools, I mean, all the tools I use here in my shop. Uh, this tool right here is the jet wash. Um, the main reason I bought exactly this one is that it has a really, really strong pressure in the pump. Um, so I use this one for cleaning the cars, of course. Um, um, to complete this set, I bought also this washing glove from Workstuff. Really cool stuff. It creates very, very strong foam. And this brush to clean the wheels. So the other element of this set is this bucket, which has really cool element, which is the separator, which makes washing the car very secure because this one separates the, uh, all the dust and dirt from the clean water. And the last element of this whole set is this towel, this microfiber towel, which absorbs a lot, a lot of water. And with this towel, I think I can, uh, I can dry at least three cars in one go. This tool here is the uh, steamer I use for the paint protection films to make them softer, to conform better. The next tool I also use for the paint protection film is this sprayer, which I use for spraying the installation liquid. One of the most important tools in our industry, right after the knife, and the squeegee, the heat gun. You can't work with that one. You might ask why this particular one? Well, I think it's built like a tank. It can drop from the ladder six meters and it's still going to work. None other can do that. It's very easy in use. It's long lasting and it's super cheap. For cleaning, I use alcohol-based cleaner, but it also happens that I use 100% pure isopropyl alcohol. And to give it extra more performance, I use microfiber wipes. When I'm walking around the car with my heat gun, that extension cable is a must. But sometimes I'm using not only one heat gun, but also the hair dryer or two heat guns. And then I'm using that splitter. As some of you may know, I'm not the tallest guy. So, you know, I sometimes need an elevation. And here are the two items which helps a lot with this. First off, that little tool for not so demanding heights and this whole box for the most demanding heights. Last but not least, this heater. I tend to get cold very, very easy and it helps to prevent that. And as you may remember, coffee is one of my favorite tools and this helps to keep it warm. Oh, hi guys. I heard you want to see tools I'm using for wrapping. I'm on the road right now and it's not a fake video. So I have only the most important ones with me. I should have. Well, I hope I have. Maybe let's just check it. So there is a seat with wheels. Really helpful when you're doing the lower sections. Maybe I'm getting more and more handsome, but definitely I'm not getting younger. So seat is a must be list. Some tools, if I have to remove handles, mirrors, license plates, etc. Special towel, which I'm using for drying the car after car wash. If I know my car will be used for training at end user. And the bag. Okay, let's see what I got here. So there are samples of products for you guys. Uh, tool bags, I have two of them. Nice one, clean one for demos, videos, expos and a uh, completely dirty one, uh, the, that one I'm using for real wrapping. So I have a, a marker here, I have knife with blade, of course 30 degrees, not to cut the paint. I have a squeegee, 
My favorite one is the orange one from Arlon. Uh, actually, I approved it for Europe, so of course I like it. But uh, seriously, I like it because it's uh, soft enough to go around some curves, but at the same time it's really boardy, really stiff, so it allows me to use proper techniques on deep channels like in Renault Master and other vans with sharp angle. I have triangles. You can see they are really used because that's a very popular tool. Uh, and I love to use it when I'm dropping film under the rubber around windows. That thing, I have no clue what's that and what it's designed for, but I'm using it for scraping of double-sided tape, adhesive, etc. Uh, glove. Well, this is the best glove I ever had. I have it already more than two years and it doesn't burn. Difficult to cut it. Uh, it doesn't need any liquid. Uh, so I can use it to dry. Um, I can wash it from time to time and then it looks like new. Uh, then I have magnets. Yeah, absolutely the magnets. Uh, but you know, the cars are becoming more plastic, more aluminum. So not always helping. But yeah, I love them when I need them. That's all in my tool bag. Uh, cleaning solution. I'm not really super connected to any brand. Uh, distributors give me a lot of them for testing, so I just grab first one, whatever I, I just grab and I use it. Um, they work very similar, so I do not support any brand here. Uh, heat gun. Oh, that's the important part. Uh, that's the best heat gun I ever had. And there are three reasons for it. First of all, it's super cheap. Uh, and you need to know I'm a fleet wrapper. All my life I was wrapping fleets, so I was wrapping by their location and thousands of vehicles. So I used, I broke, I lost, and I killed hundreds of heat guns. So I need something cheap, and I need something what uh, I can trust. Uh, second reason is that heat gun doesn't warm up. So as soon as I push the button, it's hot. And the third reason I love that heat gun are the buttons on the front. Because together with the fact that I don't have to wait until it's hot, I can do that if I need just a little bit of heat, or I can just push the button if I need more heat. So that gives me control on the tension during stretching and the speed I need in my fleet wrapping. Knifeless tape. Well, I shouldn't support any other band, but it's not a vinyl. So I guess I can say a few words. Um, but what's funny, I'm using that, but I'm not using that for what it was designed for, for cutting edges, etc. I'm using that mostly for making my overlaps really straight and really small, like two millimeters. So between the string and the edge. Masking tape, double-sided tape for the badges, uh, some rag, adapter, if I'm going abroad and I need a different plug, extension cord. Um, I have no clue how it's called for holding the vinyl. Measure tape, I never use it. Uh, laser, uh, well, I don't remember when I used it, but do as I say, don't do as I do. Runner and the brush, well, I used it a lot when I was living in the US. I used it for the rivets on trucks, and later uh, I stopped using that one, I started to use the roller, but here in Europe we almost don't have rivets, so I have no clue why those are here. Maybe the roller can stay because I use it sometimes for wall applications. Uh, I have some... Oh, hold on. That's a cool tool. It looks very brutal. I use it for removing clips uh, on the inside of door on every van. You know, these wooden or plastic covers. Uh, I know it's, it's not the fancy toy, but it's with me already 15 years and I started to use it before all these plastic beautiful tools became so popular in car wrapping. Uh, I have some extras for the blades, squeegees, triangles, gloves, magnets. Oh, there's one more thing. Uh, the laminate cut into stripes. I use it for securing some stretched edges of the film. And to be honest, guys, that's all I have here. As we are talking about the tools I always carry with me, I have to mention two very special things which travel with me as well. 
the ball, uh, basketball ball, ball for playing basketball, the basketball, whatever. Uh, I love to have it with me. I love to stop on a long drive uh, and play a bit. That relaxes me, gives me energy to drive more. And the guitar. Guys, I came back to guitar playing after 20 years. Uh, I love when there comes an evening, go to my hotel room and play a bit. I just put on my headphones and I'm, I'm gone.